Well, hello and welcome along to another edition of Hong Kong Direct. Everything Hong Kong racing related coming up for you on this programme, of course, as we get towards the business end of the season here in Hong Kong. Let's take a look at what's coming up on this week's show. We'll be chatting to Blake Shin, the outgoing superstar Australian jockey who will depart Hong Kong shortly. We'll look back on some of his highlights set from the season that has been. And we'll also take a little look at the race to the finale, both trainer and jockeys championships heating up quite nicely towards the end of the season. Well, one man that's had a great season here in Hong Kong is Blake Shin, and very shortly I'll be chatting to him and looking back on some of his highlights from the season that has been. Excellent proposal in front in the classic mile for Blake Shin and wins. Skyfield for Blake Shin grabs him. The big chest nuts in front. He's going to win the sprint. Blake Shin's going to get his golden 60 redemption with an absolute brilliant ride on Russian Emperor. What a ride again from Blake Shin and Russian Emperor. Well, pleased to say that uh, Blake Shin very kindly joins me on this week's show. Blake, many thanks for, for taking the time to chat to us here on Hong Kong Direct. And, and if I may, just take you back to the beginning when you first arrived here in Hong Kong. I think you were quoted as saying it was a bit of a, a dream come true. Now, I know as human beings, we always want a little bit more, but do you leave Hong Kong with the contentment with, with what you've achieved uh, here in the city? Uh, to be honest, there's always room to, um, to say, you know, I could have done more, um, but that might be left uh, for a time in the future. But uh, for the time now, um, I'm satisfied with, with what I've achieved, um, winning the group ones this season and, uh, you know, getting getting firmly established, I feel, in, in Hong Kong. But, uh, you know, there's always always room to improve and um, from, from, from that point of view, um, I can always do better. Before we get to some of those big wins, obviously the group ones, obviously the, the pinnacle, the highlights, 76 winners in total here in, in Hong Kong. There was never any secret that it wasn't the easiest, but as we've got towards the end of your time here, obviously things did really gather momentum. Some really lovely horses that you've ridden amongst those 76. Yeah, look, there's some great horses. Um, obviously Russian Emperor and Skyfield and uh, excellent proposal. Um, all, all the all the horses I've ridden in, in the group ones. Player Del Puente running second in the Derby. He holds a special place in my heart. So um, you know, there's there's horses that people might not even think of that hold a special place in my heart because they came at a point. Uh, the horses came along at a point and delivered for me uh, and got a win when I really needed them. Say a horse like uh, Placone, who I won two races on him and. Um, he was, he was quite pivotal. Um, a horse like Daily Delight, um, I won on him at Happy Valley one night. I think I went to the races. Might have been with one ride and I had to produce a good ride and, and he delivered for me. So there's been many a times where I've ridden horses uh, in a class four or class five and they've stood up for me. So I'm, I, I must say, um, even the horses down in the bottom of, of the grades have really helped me out. You mentioned Russian Emperor, of course. It would be remiss of us not to, to chat about that horse. He's now a two-time Group 1 winner. You, met, you said when, when you won the Gold Cup on him that that was the one that you got right. How much did that mean, Blake? Because that was top-draw stuff, that ride. Yeah, to get, to get a ride like uh, that ride in such an important uh, race, um, honestly, it's extremely satisfying. Um, there's so much work goes in behind the scenes to to get a horse at, at racing at that level. And um, there's no margin for error. error. Um, there's not much between the horses. And, you know, I really felt that we had a shot against Golden 60 to beat, beat, uh, to beat him and then the rain come. And on the day I kept thinking about my plans changing, how to ride the track. And then I discussed it with Douglas and he had confidence in me to do whatever I felt was necessary and to walk away with a win like that on the, on the big stage was absolutely incredible. 
just on, obviously, Douglas White, Casper Founds, David Hayes, the list goes on. You made a lot of friendships, a lot of good relationships here in Hong Kong. I, I imagine that's something that you're going to miss quite, quite substantially. Yes, most definitely. Um, you know, I even had dinner with Paul O'Sullivan this week, and we never, we never hit the scoreboard, but uh, got a winner. We had, we tried a few times, but just to say that we can go out and have have dinner on our final week, on my final week in Hong Kong, and and still have a great friendship, uh, that's that's more important uh, to me. And um, yeah, look, I've got some great people who have really stuck by me. And um, like all those guys you touched on, and uh, yeah, I can walk away pretty pretty happy with the relationships I've built, and hopefully, you know, in the future we might be able to reconnect with them. You never know. Yeah, that would be fantastic. What of the future, Blake? What does the future hold for for B Shin at this stage, going back to Australia? Yes, well, obviously, I've got a short pit stop in um, Singapore, where I'm be riding in the derby on the 7th and then I just said to take up a one month riding contract uh, riding in Singapore and that will um, end after the Lion City Cup on the 13th and my reasons being were that you know it's winter time in Australia uh, Singapore's racing once a week and there's some big races there and the clubs you know were kindly giving me the invitation to go there so I'm happy to go and support the club and um, keep my fitness up and keep riding and meet some new people and, and you know, it's a new, it's a new challenge. Let's see how we go. And just finally, Blake, I imagine if the, the opportunity presents itself, I imagine you'll be uber quick to get back on that plane to come to Hong Kong. Yes, look, um, you know, obviously the, it's well documented the reasons why Nick, I, I've left and that was because of the, the, the hardships during the COVID and... Um, you know, that's no secret. So we've just got to see how it changes over the next six to 12 months. Um, I've said in the media and to people how much I love riding in Hong Kong. Um, and we've just touched on the relationships that I've built. But, you know, we've just got to weigh up everything and see how it unfolds. And look, I would like to come back to Hong Kong in the future, but it, things do need to change a little bit in terms of the living environment because for, for me, lifestyle and having a happy life um, and a work-life balance is, 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 is vital for me. Blake, it's been an absolute pleasure, obviously, charting your success here in Hong Kong. Many thanks for joining us. We wish you very well for the future, and hopefully we'll see you back on these shores sometime soon. Thank you very much. And I'd just like to say uh, thanks to everyone who's given me the support. Uh, it's been a great, great time um, on and off the track, and, uh, yeah, couldn't have done it out with a lot of people um, supporting me. So thank you very much. Well, Blake Shin will be heading off to Singapore before he gets back to Australia. But with three meetings still to play out here in Hong Kong, there is still a lot to play for. Race to the season finale. There is only one five-time champion. The master versus the former protege. Competition between the three homegrown jockeys. The season finale, July 16th, Char 10. Well, so much to play out still, and will Frankie Law leading the Trainers' Championship? But that doesn't come too much of a surprise to a certain John Size. He certainly thought he could be a challenger one day for a champion trainer's title. I'd have to say it's it's not an unexpected event. Um, I would think that um, you know when he was working for me, he always showed plenty of potential, and um, he uh, hit the ground running when he started with his training license, and uh, this is what it's culminated into. So, I mean, he's always uh, shown the, the propensity to do that, and um, I'm not surprised. Uh, how, how do you, John, rate this season from, from your point of view? Obviously, you're you're within certainly hailing distance of, of reeling Frankie in. How do you rate this season in, in, a, in, a, in, the, in the overall sort of profile? Well, I, I, look, I'd have to be, I'd have to say that I'm very happy with it. Um, my performance is, uh, is uh, uh, you know, among my best performances actually, and some of the horses have have uh, performed, uh, you know, a lot better than I expected. 
<coughs> so therefore that's reflected in the number of winners that we've had. So um, it certainly does it not a disappointing uh, season for me. Well, six winners to find on Frank. It's not over, but it's certainly an uphill task for John Size. But by his own admission, he's had a very good season nevertheless. Here's what's coming up in the next few meetings. Three more still to come. We've got Shartin this Sunday back to Happy Valley and then a Saturday meeting to conclude the season here in Hong Kong on the 16th of July. We're just about uh, all out of time here on Hong Kong Direct. But as we leave you on this week's edition of the show, of course, it has to be a Blake Shin classic replay and we cast our memories back to the Gold Cup uh, aboard Russian Emperor. Many thanks for watching and hope you can join us next week. Goodbye. Russian Emperor took inside runs to get ahead of the champ. Dabrowski's in front. Russian Emperor, 79, Golden 60 has plenty to do. Russian Emperor's in front with 100 metres to go. Make it 200. He's two, three lengths in front of 79. Torby and Diamond, Golden 60. Russian Emperor's well clear. Blake Shin's going to get his Golden 60 redemption with an absolute brilliant ride on Russian Emperor.